Product featured in today's video was provided by NECA Toys for the purposes of this review. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Space Marine Drake from the NECA Toys Aliens line, paying homage to the original Kenner action figures. That's right, so this is our version of Drake that is supposed to more resemble the old toys rather than the actual film itself. And just like they've done on all of their Kenner homages, you can see he does come in that kind of clamshell packaging we've seen for all of the NECA Aliens figures but it does have that look like the original Kenner card backs including like this awesome artwork down here on the bottom with the figures name and everything like that and if we flip this around to the back side you can see we've got that great grid like effect showing all the other uh, various uh, alien homages the predator homages even the video game figures up here at the top and we even have the cool little uh, bio card which comes straight off of those classic Kenner card backs as well so Really fun stuff with the packaging. Uh, I'm anxious to get this new Drake outside of the box to compare him to the original. So let's get him opened up right now. Yeah. All right, we've got our Drake outside of the packaging. Let me start with the tape measure so that you can see that this figure stands right there at the seven inch mark to fit in with the rest of your various NECA toys action figures. Now, usually when I start these figure reviews, I have them all bare bones, no accessories attached, but we have to start a little bit differently here with Drake because of this crazy harness we've got going on here with his included smart gun. When you're pulling this guy out of the packaging, it's worth noting that the smart gun is attached to the figure via this little cable right here. See this little cable going all the way around? It's like like a light pliable plastic, but it is attached to the gun, attached to his back. So it's all gonna come out of the packaging as one piece. And then you've got this crazy harness thing right here that you have to build. And this gave me a little bit of trouble. So if you are opening this guy up, I just want to take a little bit of time to show you how the mount here that attaches to his waist actually attaches to the figure. One of the things that really threw me off with this is the fact that there's an extra piece included. And yes, you heard that right. So you're gonna have this separate piece right here that's got this little peg that plugs right there into the back of the figure. Uh, you've got this other piece right here that will plug into the gun. So you can see you got the, it's a removable clip almost, but it's got a little peg at the end. So that attaches to the front and that right there is gonna plug into the gun itself, the smart gun. Um, so then you've got this other clip. Now out of the package, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have this little extra piece and actually this cable might even be glued to it or stuck to it via paint. And then you're gonna be sitting there wondering how you connect this to that. That's where I was stuck. But it turns out for some reason, this is an extra piece. Remove this entirely, get it out of there. And even if it's stuck to the cable, you should be able just to kind of pop it right off. Then you can take this extra piece plug it right there into that clip and then it kind of articulates so you can plug it right there into the hole on the back of the harness and now we are properly set up with the smart gun mounted to the figure's waist it threw me off a little bit shout out to my followers on twitter because i did go on there going i don't know if anybody's figured this out yet and it was kind of a nice teamwork effort so shout out to everybody that kind of helped me out there hopefully that will help you if you've opened up drake and have tried to figure out what's going on the other thing here is you'll notice I've got this crazy bayonetta thing, this bayonet <laughs> stuck to his back. So that plugs in right there on his back if you don't want to use it, but it has the ability to also attach to the front of the smart gun. Uh, you can bring that around like this. It just plugs right there onto the barrel of the gun. And now we've got this crazy extra double knife bayonet right there on the front of the smart gun, which is a really fun little additional accessory. But like I said, if you don't want to use it on there, you've got a little peg that plugs into the hole right there on the back of his harness, and he is all set and ready to go. So this guy's probably always going to be holding onto that smart gun in your collection since it's attached to the figure. Uh, but it's worth noting that the rest of the figure is super nice, super solid feeling. Uh, again, remember, this is based on the old Kenner action figure, not the actor likeness from the film, which is why we've got this very grunty face there with the blonde hair. Uh, but a lot of this comes straight off the vintage figure, which you'll see in just a little bit when we do some comparison. 
comparison time. Uh, he's got this harness there that, uh, of course, we showed you is attached to all these accessories. It's a bit loose fitting. You can see it kind of uh, falls around a little bit because it's a pliable plastic, but it's still very cool. You can actually kind of squeeze it over the shoulder and it stays up a little bit better. And then you got like all the little bullets and everything going on there uh, strapped to the bandolier, which is very cool. Uh, and all of the details are really, really nice on this guy. I got those camo pants. Uh, all the paint deco seems nice and clean on this one. I don't have any uh, paint scuffing or anything like that. Also, he's a very solid feeling figure. I mean, he's articulating really good. Uh, I'm not having any issues with stuck joints on this guy, which is very, very nice. Uh, very basic articulation if you've had any of the Marines in this collection already. You can see the ankles can like rock side to side, move up and down. You got those nice hidden knees that can swivel as well as bend. You got the ball like hinge joints there at the thighs. You do have uh, articulation there in the waist. Again, holding onto the smart gun, but we can articulate at the shoulders to go inwards, outwards, forwards, backwards. You got the nice uh, elbow swivels as well as the elbow bends and the ball joint at the neck. Uh, so very nice looking action figure all in all. And he does look super cool posed holding on to his big old giant smart Mark Gunn. All right, guys, it's comparison time. So I keep talking about how he's based on that old Kenner action figure. So I wanted to bring that in just to show it to you so you guys can see what we've got going on. Uh, looking at the heads, you can see what they've got uh, with the likeness going on there, right? Uh, this one, the gold Kenner one's got like bright white hair, but you can see we got the headset. You can see NECA did a great job of mimicking the bandolier, even with the bullets and, and the grenades and everything on there, which looks really nice. He's got the giant smart gun clipped to to his waist, just like we've got right there with his uh, little armature that we built. Uh, the biggest difference is in the pants. You can see my vintage Kenner ones got like this swirly green camo, but we've got the more tan camo on the NECA one, but still it is pretty cool looking at these guys side by side to see where NECA got the inspiration from. And you do have a couple other little pack-in bonuses here as well. Uh, Drake also comes with this small little sticker sheet, which again is a direct nod to the old Kenner figures that usually came with these little sticker sheets so you could decorate the figure. So if you want to attach these stickers, you can. There's no instructions on where they have to go, so it's totally up to you if you actually want to use the sticker sheet. And we even get a cool reprint of uh, the old Dark Horse mini comics that were packed in with the old Kenner action figures. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool looking at our uh, Kenner colored versions of Ripley and some of the other Marines in here, which is so, so super cool. So that is a nice pack and bonus as well. And as we were just showing you in that comic, we've got all those other Kenner colored space Marines from NECA that look fantastic when posed right here along with this new Kenner inspired space Marine Drake. And you can match him up with some of those other Kenner homage aliens that NECA's done. He's a wonderful addition to the collection. I am so happy that NECA is doing stuff like this. I think they are so much fun. Of course, I adore that old Kenner alien line, and I think Drake here is fantastic. Um, you know, the biggest problem I had was the confusion over the arm, but I got that figured out. I got it built. It's a little strange that there's this extra piece. At least I, I think it's an extra piece, but whatever. It works the way I've got it. So again, I hope that helps you guys with your figure display. So once again, I got to give a very special thanks to the folks over at NECA for sending this guy along so we could get a good look at him outside of the packaging. This guy is available right now at any of your favorite online retailers that carry NECA products, such as Megalopolis, uh, the sponsor of this channel, which I will link to in the video description. Guys, thank you so very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.